Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, Max Weinberg. Just telling you, huge fan of you, Springsteen. You guys are the best. Thank you. Also a huge fan of this guy we're honoring tonight, Sinatra, and you know this whole thing well. Talk to me about Sinatra. Well, you know, the greatest entertainer of the 20th century influenced everyone who ever heard him sing. I think his music lives on so strongly today because in this chaotic, crazy, frenetic world we live in, no matter what emotion you're feeling, you can find a Frank Sinatra song to accompany that, uh, particularly the Columbia years where, you know, he was the soothing voice during the World War II years. And I think his music is as apropos to the times now as his music was then. How does someone like him influence you and Bruce and what you guys did with Roth? Well, he made it okay to be born in New Jersey, for one thing. <laughs> And uh, growing up in New Jersey in the 50s and 60s, you were very aware, if you were a musician, of Frank Sinatra and his legacy and his music, his movies. Uh, as a drummer, you know, you have to be able to play all kinds of music, not just rock and roll. So in my household, Frank Sinatra was key, as well as opera, as well as rock. So, uh, you know, you can uh, make a direct correlation between... You know, Frank Sinatra to Elvis Presley to Bruce Springsteen. Speaking of Bruce, he just got up in Asbury Park for a qu quick performance. You guys going back on tour? Please say yes. Well, Bruce has been known to do that, you know, just get up uh, with a local bar band, although Joe Grishecki is not uh, local. He's from Pittsburgh, and he was uh, celebrating uh, the fall season down there. And it's always great to see Bruce get up on stage. You never know what Bruce is going to do.